Hi there! During this video, I want to highlight new Cisco Code Exchange features and go through the process of submission and review it together. First, let's quick submit the repository. On the first page, we have the Submit Project button. Click on it. We can see the template here. If you don't have a useful readme yet, please follow this template. Put related link to your use case or project here. Then click the button Share the project. On this page, we can choose related technology from the list. product category and add additional text. And that's it. Next you receive security posture. We use the next two services. Cube Clarity. Cube Clarity is an open source tool for detecting and managing software bill of materials and container images and file system vulnerabilities. First, please try to fix the critical one. Then you can update the related package or library to the version found in column 16. Second one is scorecard. Scorecard is security health metric maintained by the Open Source Security Foundation. The scorecard analyzes issues such as dependencies, license files, contributors, code review, CI, test, and security. As a result, you get a score for each case, reason, and related link. After code exchange reviewers review and test your app, you receive suggestions and feedback. Then your app can be published and promoted on DevNet resources. We have improved our filtering capabilities and search result page. Here is filtering. You can choose related category, programming language, advanced wrapper features, and filtering by Cisco product. Let me open one of the use case. Here we can see README that follows our required structure and include information about use case description, prerequisite, installation, usage, etc. Some repositories we can run using Cloud IDE. Cloud IDE is an interactive code space you can open with your browser. Edit source code and deploy related code samples scripts. How does it work? After you click the Run in Cloud IDE button, you will be redirected to the interactive environment. You can open and edit the repos source code in this code space developer environment besides deploying the app or running the script. So good so far. In code samples or use cases that support Cloud IDE, we also add related credentials or API keys to interact with the Net Sandbox. And you can use it for demo purpose or past other credentials. Then just navigate to the chapter with Deploy to Cisco Exchange Dev Environment and Deploy App. We copy and paste related command while it's running let's see what features we have there cloud with cloud id you get vs code for editing and interaction with source code terminal with access to an environment with pre-installed python where you can run related commands Also, you have exposing and 
external URL for access to the internal IP addresses of an application or service. Users can use it for interaction with app graphical interface, webhook service, and web sockets.